What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we've got a few part 13 of my YouTube's Eyes Red Glory. Last time I left you with the centre back and the goalkeeper to choose from, we've decided to mix it up a little bit. I wouldn't have liked a full BPL team but to be honest it is a little bit boring to go with the same league all the time so let's try and make a hybrid. We've gone for Ponier in net, of course he plays for, I don't even know what team that is, it looks like that um, Olympic... Well, I don't know what that is. Somebody tell me what that is. That's that's one of the first times I've looked at a gun. Actually, who is that? Uh, but we've got uh, Zuma, a Saint Etienne player. He has actually been so good on the FIFA through the years. I've actually used him in a couple of FIFAs now. I remember him on 12. I remember him on 13. On 13, he was so good. I think he was non-rare last year. But anyway, he's a rare this year, and he's so, so good. So we go into a game, guys, and if you are looking for FIFA coins, be sure to check out the game keys. A link to their website and description will be in the description, sorry. Uh, we come up against this team now, and how how much of a good team does that look? I mean, he's got the likes of Suarez, Eto, uh, Willian on the wing, and the first thing that happens is we do challenge his goalkeeper, and then we get a lovely ball played through there. Gnabry is through, and the goalkeeper just saves it. Gnabry is really good at getting like, through on the last defender. I can play the ball just, just as he's crossing him, so he is on side. Uh, Rodriguez manages to get his way through there, but we are proper peppering up the goal. I say it every single episode, because it happens, and of course, the debut man himself, Zuma, puts it in from a corner. It's a towering header. Seconds later, this happens though. Zuma's not the fault there. I think it might have been the other centre back, Ake, or it could have been Shaw, who wasn't marking Eto properly. But we do move on. And of course, you know, it's the one shot that leads to a goal. Typical. But um, we do carry on and damn, we nearly score our own goal there. It's a really close game this one. He does pick it up in the second half completely and he actually does manage to break the difference at one point. It could be here. No, the goalkeeper's up to it. It might be from the corner. I think it would typically be from the corner. Yeah, of course it is. It's because we scored from the corner. You know that that happens. And I'm going to look at these end of game stats now. We're all going to look at them together. I can't actually remember what they were but... In my head, I seem to think that we was all over him in the first half, and then in the second half, he just comes out of nowhere, as you can see there, and he's actually got a lot more shots on target than us, so um, I distinctly remember him shooting from pretty much anywhere just to try and win corners or somehow hope that my goalkeeper's rubbish, but I like this goalkeeper so far. He's doing pretty well, to be honest. McGregor was a great goalkeeper, and this Ponier seems like a pretty decent replacement, so whoever suggested these French players, kudos to you for wanting a little bit of difference in the squad. We go and place this guy, uh, play against this guy and of course Luke Shaw breaks through and places a beautiful ball straight onto Vidra's head. Vidra is one of the best silver players I've used on the game by the way. Him and Rodriguez absolutely outstanding. Moments later though this guy gets a pretty lucky shot off and it is um, pretty unlucky should I say to not go in. It does hit the post and we do a little bit of skill there and we actually do test his goalkeeper as well. I don't know whether you guys prefer me to talk about random stuff in this uh, in this section of the video when we're playing or would you rather me commentate on the goals like there for example I would tell you that the ball has gone over the top and Gnabry has done a beautiful finish. He doesn't miss from there. Look at the stats again lads. Half time. I'm absolutely smashing him. He's had one shot on target. He hasn't scored. But, you know, look at this. Two defending errors. He gets through and... To be fair, I don't even know what my goalkeeper's doing there. I, don't, I, I didn't press Y to bring him out or anything. My defenders were there. They were covering him. Personally, I think I think I did get the ball, but I get the player as well. I don't know if that's a penalty. Leave a comment. Is that a penalty for you? Is it not? For me, I don't think it is because I get the ball. You guys let me know. Did I go through the man to get him? I personally think that I would have got the ball regardless of the man being there, but kudos to him. It's a beautiful penalty. It goes straight into the top corner. That's pretty much all the action, guys. He's winning... He's winning 2-1. No, I'm winning 2-1, sorry. Uh, Gnabry scored that beautiful goal. And there's a few defending areas here. There's one that's gone already. That one there and then this one here. All three of which I should be putting a tackle in. Or I could at least take him out or something like that just to stop the momentum going his way. But he does score and... It's just unlucky, really. There's only one more chance of the game, and it's this one. Rodriguez gets through, smashes it towards the goalkeeper. The rebound comes off. Gnabry is there, and it hits the post. And then I don't know what the hell that guy's doing, but he kicks it out of play. And that is it. That's 2-2. So, basically, we need to get a win in the next game. Otherwise, we have been relegated. How the hell? I don't understand how this is happening. I mean, usually... I get up to about Division 5, Division 6, and I'm okay, but struggling this time. Basically, guys, we want a rare silver left winger and a rare silver centre mid. The centre mid, preferably France, and then the left winger, preferably from the BPL. Let me know, guys, if you have enjoyed this video and you are new around here, remember to leave a like, comment, and as always, subscribe.